Hello guys, welcome back, PK here. So in this video, I'm working on this interesting and tech world using Euler's formula, so stay tuned. Okay, here's the question. The question is, what conditions with A, that is complex number, is following true? That is integral from negative A to A, fourth root of ln 2 times square root of 16 to the power of x. To the power of ln of negative 1 dx is equal to 0. So we'll be using Euler's formula, but first let's notice how this ln of negative 1. This is now pi times i. So that is why this square root of 16 to the power of x, now to the power of ln of negative 1. We can rewrite this as now 16 to the power of x over 2 using rational. That to the power of pi i. Okay, that seems like this ln of 2, this is a constant that we have for the root, right? So we can rewrite this integrand as the rational again. So we can pull this ln of 2 to the power of 1 over 4 outside of your integral. So this is the same as then uh, ln of 2 to the power of 1 over 4. That times integral from negative a to a. Okay. Then your integrand has to be now this, right? 16 to the power of x over 2, that to the power of pi i, and then that over 4, then we have dx. Okay, then keep working on this. We still have this ln 2 to the power of now 1 over 4, and that times integral from negative a to a. Then your integrand has to be 16 to the power of now pi over 8, i times x, then we have dx. Okay, so that is why eventually we should be working on ln of 2, to the power of 1 over 4. That time still integral from negative a to a. Then your integrand has to be, we can rewrite this as now with a base of e, e to the power of ln of 16, that times x times pi over 8 times i, and then we have dx. Okay, this is time we'll be using Euler's formula, right? So for the Euler's formula, we have e to the power of ix. This is the same as cosine x plus i times sine of x. In our case, we have now e to the power of, say, i times ln. 16, ln 16 over 8 times pi x. Okay, so that is why now this is the same as cosine of everything, cosine of ln of 16 over 8, and then pi x. And then that plus i times sine of everything too ln of 16 over 8 times pi x. So based on this expression, we can rewrite your integral again. It has to be then the same as, so we still have this ln of 2, to the power of 1 over 4. Then we should have integral from negative a to a, then we have cosine of everything, ln of now 16, over 8. Okay, that times now x pi. And then plus, still we should have this ln of 2 to the power of 1 over 4. That times i times integral from negative a to a of sine of everything. ln of now 16 over 8 times x pi. Okay. But notice how the second integral this integral from negative a to a sine of ln 16 over 8 times x pi. This is just a zero. So that is why this whole term is just a cancel out, and we can only focus on now this term. So if you work on this integral part now, this is going to be just a simple as ln of 2 to the power of 1 over 4. And then that divided by whole thing, ln of now 16 over now 8 uh, pi. And at that times, now this cosine part becomes just a sine 
and we have ln of 16 over 8 times x pi. That is now from negative a to a. This has to be an expression. So that is why if you work this out, then it has to be the same as, okay, because of the sign change, we actually have two times of this, right? So two times of ln 2 to the power of 1 over 4 over your denominator, ln of 16 over 8 times now pi. And then we have sine of, you can plug it in a to this x, right, of ln 16 over 8 times a pi. And then the question said, this needs to be just equal to 0. So in order for this to happen, then this whole thing, this ln of 16 over 8 times a, this should be an integer, right, because we have the sign. So that is why the only condition we need to consider has to be this. This whole thing is going to be true. If this ln of 16 over 8 times now a, this has to be an integer. So this is the answer for the question. Okay, so pretty interesting integral. So I'll be back with more videos, more questions like this sometime soon.